That I don't have. Tomorrow, right. that is so exactly. sweet. I love that. And people can come and register for wedding gifts here. She's gonna write that. Oh my God, and no! That is old fashioned heteronormative nonsense. We need to get people to rethink history through a queer prism. Not While Bros is a first of its kind, it's also just plain funny. Starring Billy Eichner, a single and sometimes cynical podcaster in New York City with no aspirations of finding love. Until that is, it finds him, shirtless, sculpted, and unexpectedly broish, in the form of Aaron, played by Luke McFarlane. And this has got to be a question that you've been asked a million times, but the pressure of having a first, yeah, a first studio film like this, how did you navigate that pressure? Were you able to enjoy it? Yeah, well, luckily I didn't do it alone. I made the movie with Judd Apatow, who produced it, who's made some of the funniest movies of the past 20 years, some of my favorite movies, Bridesmaids, The 40-Year-Old Virgin, Knocked Up, Trainwreck. I co-wrote it with Nick Stoller, who also directed it. He made Forgetting Sarah Marshall and Neighbors. Those guys really know how to make a really funny movie that makes all different types of audiences laugh and be moved. And so, and we collaborated, they're both straight, I'm gay and we came together to make this rom-com about a gay couple and so I really leaned on those guys. Um, and what we always focused on is, you know, no one sits down and says let's write a historic movie or even let's write a gay movie, what does that even mean? We all sat down and said, let's make the funniest possible movie. A movie as funny and as moving as a movie like Bridesmaids or 40 Year Old Virgin, but that happens to be about a gay couple because we have gotten so little of that. We wanted to keep it honest, we wanted to keep it real, we wanted it to be uplifting and hopeful, and we focused on that. Well, everything that you said you wanted to do, check, check, check. Yeah. You did it, so yeah. A plus. I just wanted to jump in because you asked him how to deal with the pressure. Uh -huh. He dealt with it brilliantly. I had a front row seat to it the entire time. He was involved in costumes, he was talking to the director, he was talking to music people, and it was incredible to watch. What were conversations that you had with these lovely straight fellas yeah. that made you realize, oh God, there might be like a little loss in translation or things that the general public doesn't know because we don't see this portion of society depicted in this way. Yeah, that was part of the fun of it, yes. you know? like. And um, they taught me how to make a major studio comedy that everyone straight or LGBTQ would love. And I taught them about gay culture. But they always said that what would be fun about the movie for straight people especially is that it's a new experience. Is that you're getting a peek behind the curtain at a culture that you might think you know from seeing wacky gay sitcom characters over the years, but you don't really know. On behalf of straight people, thank you for letting <laughs> us into this world. You know what's so interesting? You think about this, the idea um, when you're in a demographic that a minority group, nuance is not afforded to you so often. Mm -hmm. This movie is so nuanced. The characters are so nuanced. How important was that to you, Luke, to bring that to the screen, the idea of nuance? Well, I mean, it's funny. He's talking about wacky sitcom characters. Yeah. And we've definitely had representation, and we're getting more and more of it every year, and that's really, really important. But my character of Aaron is not often uh, sort of... Um, gay character we get to see a lot of. He has a lot of hang-ups about his masculinity, and when we do get to see gay characters have a lot of hang-ups about their masculinity, they're often played by straight men. So it was an incredible privilege to get to play that as a gay man, because I understand that completely. How much of this was a gift to younger, your younger self? A gift to myself, of course, yes, in some way, selfishly, but also I thought about the decades of LGBTQ artists who did not get this opportunity because for whatever reason, the powers that be in Hollywood weren't ready for it yet, mm -hmm. weren't comfortable enough with the reality of our lives to want to take a chance and present it to the world in this way, even in a funny way, the way we're doing it. And so I thought like, this is for them too. And why did it take so long? And but as long as I'm here and I'm getting this opportunity, let's make the most of it. You know, let's, we gotta make sure we get it right. Oh my God, do you guys remember straight people? Yeah, they had a nice run. Love.